What's up, fellas? So I want to tell you about the features and benefits of the rear trailing arm assembly, and I got this really cool SolidWorks video kind of spinning around in the background. So uh, I'm going to geek out with you guys for a little bit about uh, features and benefits and uh, stuff about this product and uh, you know where it came from, how it, how it, uh, it's going to help you. We set out in 2010 um, to build the fastest H-series front-wheel drive car there was. And we wanted to make a rear suspension that uses the OEM lower control arms and shocks. Uh, so you can use the parts that you already have. Because that's what we wanted to do. And that'll keep the cost down. What we ended up with was the rear trailing arm assembly that saves 25 pounds each side. So 50 pounds total. And that means that you could add weight in the front of the car where it matters. Because be honest, how's your 60 foot? How's your 330 foot? There's no doubt that it could improve. We went a 144 60 foot back in 2012, and the RTAs had something to do with that because we had 200 pounds of ballast on the front of the car. Every pound that we pulled from somewhere behind the front tire, we added it back in front of the front tire. The kit, it completely replaces the entire stock rear trailing arm assembly. It replaces the brakes, you know, all the squishy bushings, the whole deal. You can adjust camber plus or minus four degrees. So here, check this out right there. You can adjust camber. So you'll see the camber arm adjusting in and out. And then we kind of zoom out and you can see the uh, wheel uh, moving in and out as the camber is adjusted. You can adjust toe plus or minus one and a half degrees. Um, so here, check it out. Uh, zoom in and you'll see the toe adjust. So that's toe adjusting and then zoom out and see the wheel, wheels adjusting. Um, so that's what one and a half degrees of toe looks like. You can adjust wheelbase up to two inches, uh, and the wheel's tucked a quarter inch per side, um, you know, from where it is factory, so that if you want to make your own aero package by boxing the wheel well, you can do that. We did everything that we could uh, to make it light and strong. You know, the arm itself is made out of chromoly, the rotor is one piece um, for cost reduction, and super thin, like the rotor itself is like 170 thou, uh, which is really thin so that it's light. You know, we did everything that we could do to make it light and strong, and then we tested it on our own car. Uh, we went low to mid eights for an entire season before we sold it to anybody. How many times have you had to hunt someone down at the top of the track, and you wished that you could gain more ground in the short track? You know, that's what front wheel drive drag racing is all about. You know, we're always hunting dudes down at the top. Um, our tra rear trailing arms are a piece of the traction puzzle, not just because of wheelbase, but because of weight and because of consistency. Don't bring a knife to a gunfight, dude. I know that this is an expensive part, but your competitors are doing it. They're doing everything that they can to win. You know, if you got to smoke less cigarettes so you can buy more race car parts and show up with a chance to win, then that's what you need to do. And uh, I hope this helps. Our products are dedicated to the guys who are going to do anything that it takes to win. So here's to you, and good luck in 2016 and beyond.